The last time we got together, we took a look at the dad's breath system. But there's another system being developed and tested here. It's called the touch system. The touch sensor leverages near-infrared spectroscopy. So what that means is it creates light that goes into the tissue of the individual. That light penetrates in, and it's a specific light that actually can get absorbed by ethanol, the presence of ethanol. So those specific wavelengths that are going into the tissue, they bounce around. If they get to the point where there's blood and ethanol in that blood, that, that uh, light gets absorbed. And so then the reflected light coming back is different than the light going in. So we can actually analyze the, the light that's going into the tissue, that we're illuminating the tissue with, and we can look at the light that's being captured. And that difference between the two can actually be used to generate a non-invasive measurement of blood alcohol content in, in a subject. Right now, we are doing testing in an area on the Thanar palm. And the reason that we're looking at this area is we get very good reflected light back uh, from this region. We are continuing to look at the finger, the tip of the finger. We're also looking at the back of the finger. These are all regions where you can get different amount of reflected light back from the sensor. Um, we talk about developing a small scale sensor and our focus is miniaturized. The smaller the sensor, the easier it is for the automotive OEM to integrate it into their vehicle. So that's gonna be critical. Whether it goes into a steering wheel, whether it goes into a gear shift, whether it goes into a, a ignition button, those are areas that we're focusing on how we can get a small scale sensor that can actually uh, interface these different points of the, of the hand-based tissue. I think for myself and the touch team, we're always thinking about our objectives. We, we know the value of what we're doing. And I think the challenges that we run into and the frustrations are escalated by the fact that we know how important it is. We know that you'll have questions along the way, and we want to answer them. So email your question to skipchurch at axeautosafety.org. Until next time, drive safely, and remember, never drink and drive.